This is Dan Tortora with Ron Borges here at the International Boxing Hall of Fame weekend. Ron, how are you? Great, you? Doing very well, and I had you on the show, Christy Martin, just a few weeks back and whatnot, and just what it's like for you to come back here, and, and like we were talking about off the air, to see some faces you haven't seen in a while. Yeah, it's great fun, you know, to see, you know, a lot of the fighters and the trainers and you know guys that have known for a long time written a lot about them. Uh, it, it's um, you know you're seeing each other in a different sort of venue everybody's sort of half a civilian you know <laughs> so the it, 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 it's funny to see uh, enjoyable to see older guys fighters that maybe i saw a lot 20 years ago but you haven't seen riddick Bo, i got on the elevator uh first night i was here and Bo was standing behind me and i turned around and he goes he looks at me and he goes where you been? <laughs> Where have I been? Where are you been? <laughs> do you do you have some you know stories besides that of guys that maybe you haven't seen in a while? Yeah, you know, like uh, I was happy to see Zab Judah. The last time I seen Zab was his, his last fight where you know, he got hurt and could have been bad. You know, uh, looked kind of uh, didn't look good. You know that night. But now he's great. You know, he's living in California. He's having, it was great to see him. He looks great. He's, he's, he's happy. He's happy to be retired and uh, hoping to get in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, so a lot of those guys, you know, Tim Ryan, the old broadcaster, who I saw a lot, of course, who be inducted this year, who uh, you know, was really kind of the voice of boxing in the age with Bill Clancy. And he was like, in total shock that he got in the Hall of Fame. And, uh, <laughs> one day he said, you know, I don't know anybody remembered me. And I said, well, yeah, they do. You know, so, yeah, it's a lot of that. And, and it's, it's just, uh, and you see, the other thing about it is just the fans, you know, you, you, you can forget sometimes because of the downsides of boxing and politics. How much, you know, a certain percentage of the people still love the sport, you know, you can forget that until you come here. To be a journalist and to cross paths with these boxers, do you ever, is there ever some stories of them kind of, because you, you know, in covering them, you build that trust and you build those relationships and at the same time, you know, you have to tell the stories of some of their losses too. Sure. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's funny. Most of these guys, when they uh, retire and look back, you know, they, they tend to remember, fortunately for me, you know, the good stories that you wrote to them and forget the, the bad ones for the most part. Uh, and, and that's, that's part of what's fun. We reminisce about those moments and those fights, wins and losses and, Maybe some difficulties that they had, uh, and, and their perspective now, you know, as opposed to being in the in the moment, uh, it, it's pretty uh, interesting. And I mean, I was always pretty tough on Roy Jones, you know. As it turns out, we both we, we both got inducted last year, you know. And he did the nicest thing, you know. He, my son was 15 at the time, and so I took him over to introduce him to Roy, and, uh, and Roy turned to him and said, "Is this your dad?" Since he had he fought his way in here just like everybody else. Just, you can see my son's just <laughs> buffed out, you know. So that, that it's, it's all good to come here and, and, and just remember how great these fighters were and, and all they gave to the sport. Obviously, the sad thing is you see some damaged fighters, you know, who, yeah. that, the, that the game took a lot from them. And that's a reminder to everybody. It's in baseball, it's not basketball, you know, these guys are risking it all they have every time they fight. So that was caution friends of mine, you know. He booing some guy who's maybe not having a good night or was not that great a, a fighter. Everybody who goes up there is a pretty brave man or woman. And you should remember that. You know, and, and for you, like you said, being an inductee, when you look at this year's class for 2023, how would you describe the class that's coming in? Well, it's a little interesting, you know, they're, you know, you have those super top shelf name Floyd Mayweather or Mike Tyson you know, man, or Holy uh, but then it's, it's a good reminder that there were so many great fighters like Rafael Marquez of the world who's going in this year uh, uh, Tim Bradley you know who gave us a lot of great thrills and won titles uh, and I think it's great that there's a place for them here too it's not just for you know the, the greatest uh, names in the sport which you, know, you can have a Hall of Fame only 10 people in it, depending on how selective you want to be. So uh, it's a good reminder, I think, of people. That, uh, and, and now you're seeing some women going in, which is, you know, began a couple of years ago with Christy. Uh, and that's good, too. You know, they're getting their little corner of, of the sport that they've fought for. Uh, and fighters are, and female fighters are certainly improving a lot from when they started out. 
Uh, so that, it's good to, to see them starting to win too. And a final note, you wrote that book with Christy Martin. Why should people go out and grab that book and really get to know her story? Well, I think uh, uh, Fighting for Survival is the title, and it's really the title of Christy Martin's life. And it's much more than a boxing book. It happens to be about a boxer who was, in my opinion, the greatest female boxer in, in history. And she created this book for all intents and purposes. But her life of struggle over domestic abuse and uh, all manner of other uh, abuse from the time she was a kid, I think it's really, for anybody who's, who's feeling down or who thinks that their life is tough and I don't know if I can make it, uh, I just think this book uh, is so honest. She lifts a lot of people up, uh, gives them hope, and that's why she wanted to do it. It wasn't so much to talk about her boxing career as it was to say, look, this is what I went through to get to where I am today, and you can do it too. And, uh, and I think Fighting for Survival is really a story uh, way beyond uh, just the boxing, although there's plenty of boxing in there, there's plenty <laughs> of Mike Dyson and Don King and all that. 